Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on The Veil using Minecraft 1.20.1. My goal today is to tackle the storage problem. I have shulker boxes and chests everywhere, and that's not a good storage system. You'd be amazed how often and how much time I have to spend looking for stuff. But before I tackle this project, I have one side project to take care of. And let me just show you how that goes. We're back, but that might take a little bit of explanation. You see, Roscoe's, or I should say one of Roscoe's favorite characters is Jack Skellington. And I have been putting that image near his base on every server I've played with him. And I believe this makes number four. This one is well lit, and we definitely should be able to find his cabin in the middle of nowhere now. Should help a lot. Hope you enjoy it, Roscoe. Now, on to the storage system. Let me take you over there. For those of you who watch Ethos on Hermitcraft, in his fourth episode, he built this storage system. The idea was he wanted something simple that would allow him to dump his stuff and know that all the little tiny things get stored somewhere. And the cool thing is, is you just need a hopper minecart and you load it up, and I'll show you the way I plan on loading it up. You load it up with a series of hoppers pulling from chests or shulker boxes. So if you take the mine cart, the hopper mine cart, and push it through, the water slows it down and you can load it up while it's traveling. It's nice and slow pulls about 20 items per hopper or whatever is loading the hopper and then off it goes now let me go over to the other end and I'll show you how this puts it into a shulker box and then unloads it from the hopper if it doesn't fit be right back First, the hopper minecart goes across the top, and these two hoppers pull items out and then try to fit them into the shulker box. Then the cart goes underneath the hoppers and pulls anything out of them that did not fit in the shulker box. Over here, this is what Ethos built in episode 4 was this wall of chests and glass and behind it is the water flows and the hoppers that push the items into each and as you can see in the chest it has plenty of room so if it is a deep slate then it will be pushed into that chest this one shows bricks and different kinds of bricks and so that's the idea. This is tuft. And so all of these 
are completely full, and so it will only fill in items that have room, essentially. And if there isn't room, then it will dump it into one of these chests like this that has tons of room. I really tried to fill in all of these chests, but I'm still in the process of organizing them. Um, here's an example of what to do if you don't have items, but you know you want them in this chest. You can put in a placeholder. These sticks are just simply named placeholder, and that way th those boxes won't get filled, and then I can come back later and change them out for something I do want. Same here, I can add more redstone or redstone components as I have them. And that will allow them to be pushed into that chest. Which you can see should work out nicely for all of my redstone components. Let me speed this up a little. Rockets. I don't even know what to call those. There's coal ore and deep splate. Here's bamboo, stone, more stone, sand, and some empty chests to allow me to collect items that are not in other chests. And then I can sort them out more carefully in deciding where and what chest I want those items in. Right now, the empty chests are my catch-all uh, to catch those things that would otherwise are not in the system. They technically should be at the tail end because my stone is going to get taken up and put in the wrong, the empty one if it happens to fall at that point. I hope this makes sense. Either way, what I need to do now is set up or I should say clean up all of these shulker boxes and get these chests organized and straightened out and some kind of marking to indicate what's in each chest. So let's do that. Okay, we are back and I have done some cleanup on this storage system. I have marked or placed a marker giving me some indication what's inside each one. Um, some markers like the head of the truck is just a marker to let me know and remember that that box has the head. It's just like putting a name on it. And most of these are related to the box or block next to them. This one's all iron. So that makes sense. This one is ice and snow. Ones that I have torches on, meaning that they are ready to go complete. And this one doesn't have a torch. You can see I'm still figuring out what goes in the middle. I could do this and call that one complete. Or I can wait and figure out what I want to put in here. But I've gone through all of these. And I still have this whole top two rows. Almost in its entirety. To figure out what I want to put in each one. Ancient debris and assorted other stuff. I gotta figure out what this is all gonna be and get that settled. And then I can start worrying about how I'm gonna put all of these shulker boxes and storage that I have wandering around into the system and give each place or each piece of or item its place and I've got tons of shulker boxes so that's the plan but as fate would have it 
I have run out of time. <laughs> and I can't even make myself... There we go. Uh, and as fate would have it, it is time to wrap this episode up. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. If you could subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I produce new content, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.